Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel, and this is gonna be a really great video. I got two things for you. One of them is pretty obvious, the other one isn't, and obviously one of them is I cut my hair, it's all gone, and uh, yeah, it's gone. Secondly, today's video is sponsored. This is my first sponsored video, and I could not be more excited to say that I have partnered with R1 Concepts. They have sent me uh, a kit of brakes, all four brakes, all their new Geomet, Carbon, Drudge Slotted brake discs, and their new European ceramic brake pads, and I'm so excited to be installing them on the 530 i this is going to be a great addition to the car because what good is a car and any power if you can't stop you're dead right so we got some good brakes we're going to put them on we're going to see what they look like and then maybe down the line in the future i'll make a video if you, uh, you know how, how they feel how they last and i am very excited i'm just, I, you know i'm just excited so we just moved the car and let me show you what we have so here's what we got this box has four disc rotors and a whole set of eight brake pads. This is a lot and it is extremely heavy, hence the dolly. The uh, the UPS guy kind of just like dropped it on our front porch. It's like pretty uh, dented here, but we looked inside, just a little sneak peek and nothing really is damaged. I only saw one brake rotor. So I'm this is pretty much just an, as new to me as it is to you guys. And yeah, we're gonna flip over the box, open it up and see what we have inside. All right guys, like I always say, another day, another box. And here we are, R1 Concepts has been kind enough to send me a full set of the Geocarbon drilled and slotted brake rotors and the Euro Ceramic brake pads. These are, the Euro Ceramic are pretty new actually, they've just come out with them and they are specifically designed obviously for European vehicles. And yes, I'm just excited to open it, it's always fun opening boxes, so let's get right into it, let's see what's inside and let's install this stuff. Brake pads. Euro Ceramic Series. It's a pretty heavy box, actually. Uh, European Pacific Ceramics formulation. Here we are. Pretty good looking brake pads. All right, these are big, beefy. Apparently, the major uh, benefit of having these I've looked up is that there is very little noise and very little brake dust. Because for some reason, European cars just seem to make a lot of brake dust when you brake. And it's really annoying, especially with the 911. The wheels get so dirty, and with this car as well, the wheels get very dirty just from braking. So I'm glad that we have the Euro ceramic pads. Oh, look at that. That's cool. We got some. Oh, look at that. Little brake, two little brakes. R1 Concept brand. That's cute. And then here we got the rear brake pads. Same thing, let's open them up. Same idea, smaller, still pretty beefy. Look pretty good. Boo. Now for the really fun stuff. Brake rotors. There should be, I hope there should be, four brake rotors in this box. A very heavy box, like I said, whenever we first got it. We could not move it, literally. We could, could only like roll it around. So uh, we got the dolly, moved it over here, and here we are. Here is the box with the boxes uh, and more boxes, just boxes inside of boxes. I love it. Boxception. This is great. So, yes, I'm gonna get these out somehow. Just use pure brute strength, I guess, and just try to get them out. I'm gonna see if I can weigh, I'm gonna get a scale, and I'm gonna weigh which brake actually is heavier. If the R1 Concepts is heavier or lighter than the OEM, maybe they're the same weight, maybe these are lighter. Who knows, let's check. Uh, well, first, obviously to do that. <sighs> we gotta get them out. Okay, this is definitely lighter, so these are probably the rears. Does it say anything? Does not say anything. All right. Yeah, I think these are the rears. All right, here we are. Let's, uh, let's open this one up, let's not get the blade too far out. This will cut. Wow. 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 These are heavy and really cool looking. These are awesome. There really aren't a lot of options for brakes, like aftermarket brake support. For this car, I've seen, um, there are obviously some, you know, the usual Brembo, Zimmerman, you know, OEM, BMW, but to go to drilled and slotted, there really aren't any at all. And especially none with like a name, good name, right? So I'm excited to see what these look like on the car. Now, obviously with the blue calipers and uh, it's just gonna look awesome. This is gonna bring attention to the calipers. The calipers are gonna bring attention to this. It's gonna look really cool. Give it a sporty appearance at this car, like I always say. Kind of needed, you know. It's a good car. So it's a sporty car. Just didn't really look it from factory, 100%, right? But now with this, definitely, it's gonna be a really nice touch. But yeah, really heavy, really good looking 
drill and slot it. Obviously, the, the drills have chamfered edges, so you know the, it's easier on the brake pad wear or sort of red. I believe these are the rear, even though these are huge. I think these are the rears. Uh, yeah, I think the bottom two boxes are the fronts. Oh my. I think the, the size of these brakes is accented by, obviously by the drills and slots. Really big. Again, of course, retaining the OEM BMW venting uh, fins. Vin, fin, fin, I'm so excited. Let's install these. Front wheel is off. Caliper, like I said, is really dirty. We'll clean that. But check this out. I just found this out. This car has a cooling vent for the brakes. It's a race car. I have a race car. It's so cool. Never knew. But yeah, we're gonna do, uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take off the, the caliper. Uh, we're gonna put it somewhere safe. We're not gonna like disconnect it from the brake lines, obviously, because I did not want to bleed the brakes, right? So we're just gonna move it to the side and then we're gonna check this out. Look at this, it's an Allen. This is an Allen to hold the disc onto the hub. Usually it's a Phillips or like a Japanese star uh, screw, but this is an Allen, which is great. So there's a torque spec for this. We're gonna torque it down uh, whenever we get the new brakes on, but let's get this off and let's see where we go from there. Okay, we turn the wheel so we can have easier access to the caliper. And I'm not sure if you can see back here, but right around here, right here, the screws holding on, or the bolts I should say, holding on the caliper uh, have little covers. We're gonna remove the covers, remove the bolts, get this caliper off. So, my phone stopped recording, it overheated. So, we gotta remove this little Allen, like I said, six millimeter Allen. You could remove it now or before removing the caliper. We just didn't really, you know, we didn't think about it. So, uh, it's not that bad though. It's not, it shouldn't be that, that hard to take off. There we go. And I did put WD-40 on this disc to make it easier to remove. Yeah. All right, <laughs> disc is off. Already, I think this is a lot heavier than our new discs, but, oof. Very heavy, very dirty. Let's put this away. Okay guys, now it's time to weigh both of the discs. I just took off the front disc you saw, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh the front OEM disc that came with the car, which I believe could be the original one since the car only has around 70,000 miles. So I'm gonna put that on, very dirty, very ugly. I'm gonna put it on, weigh, see what the number comes up, and then we're gonna do the R1 Concepts break. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, we're gonna weigh the OEM disc real quick. Let's turn it on. Wait for the number. All right, it should be there. Let's see what it is. And it is 23.4 pounds. And now we are going to weigh the R1 Concepts drilled and slotted rotor. I am super excited to see if this is any heavier. Remember, the OEM one was 23.4 pounds. Now let's see how much this one weighs. Put it on. Let it measure. Should be done by now. Let's check out the number. 24.8. Would you look at that? The OEM disc was 20. 3.4, this one is 24.8. It's a little heavier, who'd have thought? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the brake pads and then we bought this tool, like a ratchet tool, to expand or to push the pistons back into place. So when we take the brake calip or the brake pads out, we're gonna push the pistons back in and then that way we have more room for the new pads and then that way the pads will actually fit on, or sorry, the caliper will actually fit on the new disc. I got the caliper finally disassembled pretty much. The only thing I did was this, the caliper carrier, which obviously holds uh, the caliper onto the hub itself or the, you know, this. I took this off, the pads came out. The pads are not too bad actually to have some life in them, but you can tell that they've changed uh, the pads. Probably not the discs though, but yeah. Here's the carrier, I took it out. This is where we painted it, obviously you can see. Uh, the, ca the carrier, took it off, it's easy. So now what we did is I, I tried cleaning it a little bit, but you can see that this is probably the dirtiest job I've ever done uh, cleaning it a bit. But now we're gonna use the ratchet tool that I told you guys about, which is this, check this out. You put this right in here, watch this. You see uh, the piston, I'm trying not to bend this too much, but you see the piston? I just start ratcheting, it's going right back in. Without this, obviously, you can't get this caliper onto the new disc. Since the new pads are thicker, the new disc is thicker, less space. So, you gotta do this. I think it's time for the new pads. All right, guys, it's time for the new disc. Here it is, big and heavy. All right, let's put it on. The torque spec for this uh, little screw to hold the disc onto the hub is 12 foot-pounds. Oh. There we go, 12 foot pounds, and the disc is now on. Now let's get the new pads on the caliper and put the caliper back on. 81 foot pounds, caliper carrier is on, disc is on. 
look at that. That's awesome. Let's get the pads on. All right, R1 Concepts European Ceramic Brake Pads. The brake pads, uh, European specific ceramic formulation, obviously for European cars. Chamfered, the, the pads are scores, positive molded. They look like really cool uh, pads. Let's open them up. Look at that. Nice packaging and everything. We got the clips that we need. Uh, this is the whole set for the for both front uh, driver side and front passenger side. One of these has a clip. I believe this is the one that goes inside the piston, so it goes in the inside part of the car, and this one goes on the outside. So it would go something like this. Let's put them on. Did you guys see that? Are you guys seeing this? This is the easiest brake job I've ever done. Wow, that's it. And now we just screw this back, screw the caliper back onto the carrier. That's it. Let's do it. All right, so for the brake pad carrier guide, the Allen, I believe it's a, so yeah, seven millimeter, uh, 31 foot pounds is the recommended torque by BMW. So let's go ahead and torque this down. All right, guys, we have finally installed the caliper. The only thing left to do here is to install the brake pad life sensor, which just literally just slots in there and then you can just, just, just push, I mean, just, okay, I'll do that later. But here's the thing. This retaining clip here looks like it's easy to put in. It was an absolute nightmare to install. It took us a really long time and I struggled a lot with it. Uh, I watched countless YouTube videos and everything, but very few showed it, only one guy showed it. And yeah, the only thing is, the only way to get it on is you really have to scratch the caliper. So that kind of is not a problem if you have the standard calipers, but we painted ours, so we did scratch it quite a bit, I will be honest. I really hope you won't see it with the wheel on, but either way, I'm gonna go buy touch-up paint immediately, and we will touch it up, and hopefully it won't look like this anymore. But yeah, unfortunately, the only way to get this retaining clip on is to get either two of these sides underneath the, the, the carrier, put this pin in here, and then you've just gotta pry this with the screwdriver till it just goes through, and obviously you can see all the paint is gone. But, I mean, guys, there's that is the only way to secure the caliper to the caliper carrier. That is the only way, and it must be done. So, yes, we lost some paint, but at least I can stop now, right? So, you know, you win some, you lose some, and besides, we got the discs on, and that looks really, <laughs> really cool. I'm gonna finish up this side, put the wheel back on. I'm gonna do the driver's side, or sorry, the passenger side real quickly, um, and then we'll do the rears. So, let's do it. Here's what's, what's happened so far. Uh, I haven't recorded a lot because my phone has been overheating and um, we already saw the same thing on the other side, right? So I've, well, all I've done right now is I've removed the caliper again. So all it is 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 two 18 millimeter bolts uh, that go here and here for the retaining clip onto the actual steering knuckle. We removed the caliper from the caliper guide retainer and then we removed that retainer. Uh, so now we're here. We already cleaned up the hub a bit and then it's time to install the new uh, disc again. Same thing as we did last time, so I'm just gonna time lapse it. And I just noticed it is so humid that midway through speaking, my lens is fogged up, so I apologize for the foggy vision. Okay guys, we're done. I didn't really film because it was the exact same thing as the last time. However, we knew how to put this on, so this side is a lot less scratched. It's only scratched around here, a bit here, and down here, but that's it. This side definitely will be my, my preferred side, and no casualties other than a, uh, a broken nail, but you know, whatever. Dirty hands, dirty job, it's done. Now, <laughs> now we move on to the rears, and I will I will show one of the rears, and then do the other one probably off camera or time lapsed, um, and then we'll be done. So let's do it. Oh my God! I cannot believe how cool that looks. <laughs> I mean, I knew it would look cool, but look at look at this the length of the car with those, I mean, it's just with the calipers. Guys, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think and if you would do this because this is crazy. Let's do the rears. All right, at the rear, we removed the, the wheels as you saw. Well, you saw one side, but I removed both sides, obviously. Uh, right now we're on the passenger side and we had to get this uh, special wrench 15 millimeter because it's extra thin, as you can see. If we didn't have one this thin, it literally would not fit because there's a washer right here and this is like the bare maximum that it would fit. And this is a really thin wrench. All right, so we finally got these two bolts out and loose and now we can finally remove the floating caliper from the caliper uh, carriage. And guess who's here? It's Miguel, the illegal, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's Juanri, he's my cousin, and he came from Kingsville because he's moving over to Virginia because he's now a... Naval aviator. 
he's a naval aviator, and he's assigned an F-18. That's pretty cool. Not as cool as a 535i, though, but Not still pretty cool. Near as cool. No, no, no. But yes, thank you for joining us. But yeah, thank you for having me. he's helping us out here. Uh, and yeah, we just, like I said, we just got that off. And now we are going to remove the caliper, change the patch, and see if we can remove the disc without having to remove the caliper carrier. If we do, then that's not big of a deal, right? But let's try it either way. So, uh, a word of advice from, from Juan Ray and I. A great idea we've figured out is to release the parking brake before beginning, you know, because with, with the parking brake, it's not as easy. Okay, we have the caliper uh, floating now off of the, uh, oh, okay, there we go. He's smarter than I am. And we got, we got the, dis the sensor disconnected. And then, yes, now we have that off. We can remove the pads now, and then we can see uh, about removing the cover for the motor of the parking brake and then winding the parking brake back in so that we have enough space to put the pads in and the new disc on. One thing about this, also the R1 Concepts, uh, the pads don't bring new clips. Usually whenever you get new pads and rotors and stuff, you get new clips so you don't have to reuse the old ones because they might be less effective at holding the pads on, but R1 Concepts does not have it. So I don't know if maybe it's the kit, maybe they just didn't send it, but yeah, just keeping that in mind. Okay, so we removed the cover for the parking brake and now we are going to uh, retract the parking brake itself using a T27 torque. With the T27, we're going to retract it. We're gonna go counter, or sorry, we're gonna go clockwise until it stops and we're gonna compress the piston back in using the same tool that we use for the front uh, calipers. And we're gonna keep repeating that process until it's all the way in. Okay, using the same 18 millimeter socket that we used at the front, I'm gonna remove the carrier because there's no way that this disc is gonna come out without removing the carrier. So let's get this off. Rear disc is off. Let's compare it to the new one. All right, guys, here is the old disc. Uh, not as heavy as the front, obviously. They are a little bit smaller. The front, I forgot to mention, they are 348 by 30 millimeters, and they are the optional uh, aluminum hat rotors. And these are the 330 by 20 millimeters. Uh, a little bit thinner, but they still have the venting and everything. Old, ugly. Let's check out the new ones. They look amazing, just like the fronts, drilled and slotted all the way around. They look super cool. They feel lighter, are they though? Venting, of course, 330 by 20 millimeters. Aluminum hat rotors, Whew. they look ugh, really cool. And they're only dirty because my hands are filthy. So let's weigh the OEM stock one and then the R1 Concepts. All right, first one, factory brake. Zeroed, put it on, should be done. Let's check out the number, 16.4 pounds. All right, 16.4, turn it on. Did it get to zero? Let's weigh it. Remember, 16.4, OEM, R1 Concepts. 19.2, that is really surprising. The other one, the fronts were like a pound heavier. This was almost three pounds heavier. That is very interesting. Time to put the new disc on finally. And by the way, guys, someone correct me if I'm wrong. The disc and rotor are the same, right? I'm not 100% sure. Please, someone in the comments, tell me if I'm wrong. So for the torque spec for this, like I said before, 12 foot pounds, it was at 31. Now it's gotta go down to 12. There we go, 12 foot pounds. Now we can start putting everything back together with the new brake pads, the Euro Ceramic brake pads. I'm so excited to see these. Well, I mean, I'm looking at them right now. I mean, I'm so excited to use these, to feel them, and to not have any more brake dust, supposedly, allegedly, very little brake dust and very little noise. So let's put it on. The torque spec to attach the carrier to the actual, I believe, the the car, the control arm, the suspension area is 81 foot pounds, which is a lot. I could not do a lot of this stuff without Juanri, so everyone thank Juanri. Again, Juan reminded me of something that I forgot. Uh, this piece right here goes on the backwards most uh, bolt holding the parking brake to the caliper and without it you can't really attach the plug anywhere so don't forget it because I did and I have to take it back off as you just saw. So since it's a floating caliper, obviously, it's gonna be a little bit loose now because the, the, the piston is still completely, totally compressed. Whenever it's ready, and I start slamming on the brakes for the first few times, the piston will obviously go out and it will create uh, friction and it will create, you know, get rid of the space uh, and it will finally not move anymore. I am so tired. 
but we are nearing the end right now. I finally have the rear discs on. Uh, there's one over there with my dad. They have expedited that side right now. Both sides are the exact same, right? So I'm filming this side. Wheel is on that side. And now we're gonna put the wheel on this side. So this is the final home stretch. And then obviously, well, you know, we gotta break them in, right? All right, guys, it looks like we have completed the install of the R1 Concepts Drills and Slotted Rotors with the Euro Ceramic brake pads. And let's take a look at how cool that looks. That is just the front. Check out the rears. This is so cool. Such a cool touch. Little details like this, I love. The car looks more aggressive already. And with the blue calipers, which we will touch off, don't worry. It looks unbelievable. I am so happy. Again, thank you R1 Concepts very much for sending this out. The only thing left to do is to break them in. They do have a break-in procedure. Uh, you can look that up anywhere online. But yeah, the only thing left for me to do is to break it in. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to catch you all in the next one. Take care.